Alright, so today I'm going to be playing a game called Crux. This is by Niven Hedinger. I'm going to post all the links down in the description. Be sure to check those out. Crux Forest, a place where paranormal events occurred is being under investigation. The main protagonist, Chloe, goes to the forest with her camera to find the evidence of the unknown. Crux is a short, atmospheric game where you can investigate the forest, look for strange clues, maybe find someone new on the way, and most importantly, don't be afraid. Thanks everyone for checking out my game. So let's see what let's see what he makes with it. So so far, I like the menu music. It's very atmospheric. Um, and we'll play. So P Chloe is a private investigator. She is working on the case of the missing locals in the Crux Forest. People who live there claim the paranormal events occurred last night. The town's police detective, Pranov, hope I'm saying that correctly called her to investigate the strange phenomena and find out if anything suspicious is happening. For the evidence, she brought her camera to record everything. Alright. So here we go. We have a camera. Oh, we zoom! That is... That's nice. I like that. I like the sound effects. I like the walking sound effects. Alright, so let's see here. Let's see what we can find. Do I have a walk? Do I have a run? No run. No jump. The jump, it's like it tries to jump, so maybe we're not meant to jump. So we have a spooky forest. The memorial. I think that's what that says. Let's see here. Any other buttons? I don't think none of the other buttons do anything. At least not yet. Got some creepy whispers. Do I have to pick up batteries? Because I have a battery monitor there. Okay, so the spooky whispers are around the graveyard. Good to know. We've got a fire? A forest fire? Hmm. Okay, so, so we have that. That might just be like a waypoint, kind of a way to keep our bearings, our grounds. My battery meter doesn't seem to be going down yet that I can tell. Let's see, we got some spooky buildings. What's in here? Hey, it's me. Demons. Anybody in here? I don't think there's anybody home. Alright, uh, okay. More more buildings. We'll go to these spooky buildings. Let's see here. Anybody living in here? Anybody hiding? Any secrets? No secrets. So let's check. Let's check this one. I've already been in. Oh no, here we go. Creepy stuff. Find sacred doll. So I'm looking for the sacred doll. Okay. Um, I need to check out this worn out car. This old beat up car. Anything in here? No secrets. No secrets. All right. Uh. Thought I saw a gate. Do we get to go out there? We might get to go out there. I don't know. Something spooky. A another another torn down house. So these houses are completely completely destroyed. I'm stuck. Oops. Alright, alright. Crisis averted. I'm not stuck. False alarm. Spooky doll. Oh, there's the spooky doll. Do I click on you or does it... Do I zoom in? E? Okay, we click. Click on the doll. Sacred doll picked up, so let's go put the sacred doll into the sacred crib. See what comes of it. Surely nothing bad will happen, right? I mean, we're just... We're just putting stuff back where it goes. Was it this one? Or was it this one? Aha. Alright, clicky clicky. Attend the ritual. 
Okay, it's getting it's getting dark. It's getting red. Is the ritual Is the ritual over here? I'm going to guess the ritual's at the fire pit. Do I die? Like it's really red like I Yeah, you can't even see nothing on my OBS. It's really red. Let's see what happens. Let me uh let me actually see if I can pause this. Can I pause? Give me one second. Okay, I fixed it a little bit. I set everything back to a default, but I can't see. I I I think I died. Thanks for playing. I, I don't know if I missed something. I might have to go back and check that. Special thanks to Tiffany Gillick. That's me! <laughs> the game was created with the use of Copper Cube 6, which is free. Sound effects and stories were created by me. Additional assets and some animations were created with the use of free online applications. Alright, I'm actually gonna... I'm gonna replay that again because I don't know if I missed something there at the end. I think I died. I do. I think I died. What? What? What's going on? What? Whoa! Is this supposed to happen? Because I, I spawned back into the game and now there's spooky stuff. And I don't think these guys were here before. Hey you. What do you gotta say for yourself? Can I click on them? I don't think that was supposed to happen. Did I break it? Did I break the game? Is it supposed to be broken? That's a bigger question. Some of these games are made to be like, you know, broken. Okay, I'm gonna go see if the spooky doll, spooky sacred dolls back over there. I was not expecting those dudes to be there. Okay, so the spooky doll, the spooky sacred doll, is not here. So I'm gonna go check the uh, the house and see if it's there, because it says I got the sacred doll right there in the in the corner. Okay, so something creepy's happening. We're doing the red stuff again, so I'm gonna try to go quickly to the ritual and see if I can attend it. I, I would really like to run right here. This because I feel like I'm gonna miss something if I don't run. I just turned on sticky tees, sticky keys. Okay, guys, I'm here. Let's go. What's going on? L let's do the ritual. Come on. Do, do I click on you guys? Clicky, clicky. Okay, it's just getting red again. I think I'm gonna die again. I'm a little, little confused. I can't see nothing. Everything's so red. Okay, I'm gonna go back into it again and see what happens. Okay. I'm gonna check out this, uh... This memorial again. Okay, more whispers. Creepy whispers. But I think that's it. I think that's that's the game. So overall, I really liked what, what they've got going here. I like, I like the level. I like the atmosphere. Um, I don't I don't play a lot of these kinds of games where you have the camera. I can't even play Outlast like it's too scary um, It would have been really cool if we actually had to like maybe start the fire that could have been part of the ritual process And then the ending where it just faded to red I was expecting maybe maybe a jump scare and you know what would be really cool too like after we finished the ritual We put the doll in the creepy basket and like we would have come over here to these dudes We would have entered the circle and then it would have like teleported us to another world that would have been cool too just the possibilities where you could have gone with this and you could have even like wouldn't even necessarily have to do that that was just one of my ideas another idea like you come here and you, you hit this trigger next to these dudes they disappear and like some more creepy stuff starts popping up lots of lots of potential here I can see it so anyways thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one